Hey, hello, and welcome to my channel. This is vlog number five. I'm going to be doing this every week on Tuesday. I find Tuesdays to be a very good way to do these things. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and give you a synopsis of what this ham vlog is. That way you know if we want to watch it or not. Okay, first of all, we're going to talk about weather a little bit. I have some excuses as to why I've not been doing any ham radio. Um, I'm going to talk about storm chasing a little bit. I'm going to talk about after that hamvention and tickets. Don't have a whole lot to say about that. Not a whole lot's changed. I'm going to show off my QSO cards, my business cards, my my. I'm going to show off my business cards that I'm going to be handing out at Hamvention and other places. Uh, I'm going to show you a YouTube upgrade that I made recently, and I'm going to be doing a book review. So that's what this video is going to be about. So let's get started right away. All right. So the weather here has been awful. I mean, it's been up and down, up and down, lots of rain, very cold, 60 degrees, 20 degrees, snow, all kinds of crazy stuff. Um, and I'm going to show you some videos of this week. Pretty much everything in these videos happened within about a one week period. So here it's snowing. So we drove to Lake of the Ozarks last weekend and here's our drive down. It was uh, super foggy. So the first day it's cold. It's super foggy, right? It's so foggy, in fact, that it's actually kind of dangerous to drive. There's actually a point at which we were like, you know, I ha we have to slow down because the fog is so bad. And that's not so bad. I'm just talking about the crazy change of weather that we have. Now, I wanted you to notice, if you look on the side of the road, there is snow on the side of the road. So so within a couple of days, we got snow on the side of the road. We got fog and rain. And this was our entire drive all the way to Lake of the, Lake of the Ozarks. And it's actually a good time to go because it's off season. You can get a lot of things cheap. Um, the very next day, it was sunny and 60 degrees. There was snow on the ground and it was 60 degrees. The, that night, though, that night, there were 60 mile per hour winds back where I lived in St. Charles, even though we were at Lake of the Ozarks. 60 mile an hour winds. So there was wind damage all around. Anyway, my point is we are moving into that really crazy weather weather time. And I'm, I'm kind of excited about it because I made a couple videos about driving into a thunderstorm and they did very, very well. People are really interested in thunderstorms. So I'm going to get out there this spring and I'm going to take some video of thunderstorms. I'm going to keep my distance. Don't worry. Now, that brings me to storm spotter training. You may, depending on where you live, you may have training on spotting storms and storm, storm spotter types type things in your area. So I suggest you Google your city whatever city you're on or your state, and look up spot, Storm Spotter Talks. And sometimes they have these classes. So I found Storm Spotter Talks in St. Louis area, and they've got all these dates dates and times. You just go there, you sign up. They're really good. They, they show you slides and pictures on how to spot storms and how to report them. It's really good. Go do it. I'm going to do that one. I, I don't know which one. I'm going to pick one of these. But find find something near to you at a good time and go do it because it's really fun. Okay, so now talking about Dayton Hamvention, which we should really call Xenia Hamvention, right? It's Xenia. Um, so it is coming up. I don't see anything new in the in the events here. A little disappointed. Nothing new. But guess what happened? Oh yeah, I got my tickets. Let's open it up and see what's inside. Twenty two dollars if you buy them online. It took quite a while for them to get here. Actually, I started to get a little worried about it. Punch my ticket, man. Hamvention, baby. I'm going. I'm going. Now, Lord help me if I forget this thing, because that would mean I could pay 22 plus 25 at the gate, because don't forget this. Where am I going to put this so I don't forget it? I don't know. All right, so speaking of Hamvention, so I heard of this concept called spam cards. Uh, Ron C. gave me this idea, and they're kind of related to a YouTube channel, but but the reason I, I got these spam cards, they're business cards is what they are. And I went to Vistaprint and paid full price for them. And I made my own cards with my radio channel on them. And it's got the little QR code. You can scan it. I've got a, I've got a, a CW key there, and I've got me looking terrible right there. Anyway, the point of this card, QR code will send them to my send anybody to my channel. Now, the reason I have made these cards was not to get viewers and subscribers. This is in those situations where you tell somebody you have a YouTube channel, you tell them you're in ham radio, and they're like, oh, that's interesting, but they don't really understand. That's when you whip out a card and say, here, check me out. Not to get them as a subscriber, not because you're not going to get nearly as many people on the street to be subscribers or anything like that. This is for when you're at Hamvention 
and you want to communicate with someone. They're like, what's your name? You know, how can I get in contact with you? Here's your card. This has everything on it. But it has your call sign, my full name, you know, you, my email, my email address is on there. That's good. So anyway, you can hand out these cards. I highly suggest you make them. Just go make a business card. You can get these little QR codes. You can go out on a website and sign up and you type in your the name of whatever it is you want, your website or your YouTube channel, and you, you load a picture on Vistaprint. They help you design it, and you just buy them. And I bought, oh, 35 bucks for 500 And, you know, that's not super cheap or anything, but it's a great way. Like, if you're talking to a vendor or something at Hamvention and they want to know, hey, what's your YouTube channel? Maybe we can have a relationship, you know. Maybe I can send you for some free stuff. That's what the card is for. It's for relationships or anybody. So... Got these cards, got tons of them. They're almost like QSL cards, right? Almost. Speaking of QSL cards, uh, every week I'm gonna try to uh, show you a card that I got. This is KE3EB, KF3EB. I got this in 2016. I got a 589, it was CW. Now look, he's got these mathematic symbols on his QSL card. I don't know if he's a mathematics person or what, but it says, thanks for the rag chew, QSO. I'm new to CW, and this was my first rag chew. I've been working a few easy contests to gain on the air experience, SKCC, state QSO party contacts. And anyway, I hope I wasn't too clumsy. Thanks again. Of course you were not too clumsy. Anyway, that's the, that's the QSO card for the week. Very happy to get them. I love to get them. I'm very bad about sending them, though. So I'm making, in this winter time period, I want to make a huge upgrade. I started thinking these winter storms are coming, and I want to take video of these winter storms. I'm going to keep a safe distance, of course. But I want to get a, a good video of it, and I've been saving up for a while, and I went out and got me a beast of a camera. This is the Sony A7 III, A7 Mark III, I believe. It is a beast. I have a cage around it. I've got, I already had this piece here. This is a microphone, a shotgun microphone, but... This takes 4K. Uh, I like to shoot in 4K. It takes good slow motion. It's got good quality. And more to the two reasons I got this big upgrade. It's got a flip out screen, which is very nice, but it doesn't flip out all the way. Anyway, the reason I got this was I wanted to start getting more advanced, doing more quality, getting better video. And I wanted to change out my lenses. I wanted to have a little bit more customizability. I started researching this and I realized that it has a lot more benefits than that. The battery power is really good. I and you know, I've been changing battery and battery and battery. I've had to I've had to carry around that bioanal battery thing and charge my camera while I'm it's just a pain. So anyway, I'm doing a big upgrade. Hopefully my videos will show that in the future. That's a thing. And then finally, now that I'm near my 10 minute mark, I'm gonna tell you about a book that is a really good book. I actually have not looked at it for a while. I just pulled it off the shelf. But I highly recommend this book. This is the Antenna Builder's Bible. It is very, very good. Practical antenna book. It's It reads fairly easily. I mean, it, it can get really in-depth, but it's got some basic skills in here, you know, like the ionospheric balance and all that stuff. There's a lot of graphs in here, but if you were to, you know, just pick a topic. This is a reference guide, but here's a good topic. Long wire directional antennas. This is a very good, this book isn't just technical. I mean, you can, I would enjoy reading this. Now, some of it gets a little bit too much into graph theory. You see, there has some very simple concepts on antenna designs. And I really like things like that. I like that they give you ideas and pictures, images. Here are some, here are some band trap type ideas. Uh, this book is really good. I paid full price for it a long time ago. I've had this forever. This is another book I would never sell. Um, lots of really good ideas in here. Antenna theory is very complicated. It is very, very complicated. Actually, there is a person in my family that he's a professional engineer, and he works at Motorola, and that's I won't say, <clears throat> say a whole lot more than that, but he all he does is work on antennas, cell phone antennas, small device antennas at Motorola. And he's been doing that for years and years and years, but there's so much mathematics and theory and all kinds of crazy stuff with antennas that it's it's an entire career can be devoted towards it, and you still don't know all. So don't feel bad if you don't know everything about antennas. Anyway, that's going to wrap it up. I hope you have a good Tuesday and a good rest of the week. 
I'm gonna get more video and and I'm ready for I'm ready for storm season, man. I am. I do kind of like storm season. I don't like the wet, but we'll see what we can do later.